So here we are in Salisbury Civic Square, the centre of much controversy at the moment as this uh, community hub development is now under consultation. Now it's a significant investment and it's one the Salisbury Business Association are proud to be able to support. A $40 million investment right here in the centre of our city that serves as a catalyst for more investment to come, that frees up space so that you can get parking space when you're in Salisbury and access into it when you want to come and visit and all the services that you need once you're here, well to the Salisbury Business Association, all this makes perfect economic sense. When you then link that into conjunction with the stimulus that our local economy will need post the Holden's era, I think you'll agree this is a critical project at a significant juncture in Salisbury's history. So the council have now secured the land behind us. These shops that have been here for many, many years that now front onto the Civic Square will soon give way to what would be a four-storey development in an L-shaped design wrapping around the Civic Square. This will become the centrepiece for Salisbury very much revolutionising the way that the council delivered their services to the general public. This will become a place for the community to come together, but moreover, a space that we can all enjoy. So one of the really interesting things about this proposed plan is the proposed removal of the council chambers. Now that'll free up land, critically affording access right here into the heart of Salisbury. Just imagine for a moment the removal of the council chambers, so providing access for Church Street to go all the way through to Salisbury Highway. That type of access and parking is exactly what the residents and the business community want for Salisbury into the future. Opened on the 21st of June 1975, the current council chambers have served as well, but now require between 11 and $13 million right here in maintenance just to stay safe and keep the doors open. So the question needs to be asked, are we better served by its removal, so providing the access that Salisbury so needs to revitalise its city centre? And is it time in the wake of Holden's closure to consider a stimulus here into our local economy by building a community hub that a community desperately needs?